Oh, hey, look. First time I haven't disappeared in, like, three months. Now it's just... Uh, two weeks. Gosh. Was that how long this has been? I guess so. Hi. Welcome to the stream. We're playing Zelda today. Because it was either this or golf, and TBH, I'm kind of... I hate that I say this. I kind of sick of golf, but I kind of found something that revived. Oh look! Oh look! I'm just gonna say this. I was today years old. Well, a few days old since I discovered that you could speed run golf. I didn't know you could speed run golf, but apparently people are speed running golf. So that that that's an interest. Also, it is super awkward. I wish. I wish I had like a webcam or something because we are using motion controls for this stupid game and I, I reach for the mouse but I put on the stupid little strap things because you know it's much more comfortable than, than like holding a tiny controller in your hand so that's the thing so I'm like trying not to bonk it on my desk and while I like uh Switch screens! That's the word. <laughs> That's the word. Okay. Alright, enough enough goofing around. Let, let, let's play Zelda. Let, let's just finally fight the bullet, play the Zelda, see how well these Joy-Cons do motion, and then, uh, then we'll see what happens. Hey, this is how you do the thing! Make sure you lock the stupid thing so it doesn't come flying off. Now it is. <laughs> Good luck taking it out later, suckers. It, oh. oh, I was about to say, I thought we were gonna get, <laughs> I thought we were gonna get uh the the video tutorial about Wii Motion Plus. Clearly, that's that's what we're missing. I was like, this is voice acted, right? And then I remembered, this is Skyward Sword. Of course, it's not voice acted. <laughs> This isn't Breath of the Wild 2. No, but seriously, it's it's not it's not the Wii Motion Plus video. Where's the Wii Motion Plus video? Man, I'm so I'm so glad I remember this part where they just like immediately dump you into the to the plot. Sorry, I got distracted by a phone. <laughs> what else is new? It's true, but like what else is new? So anyways, if you need a refresher on Skyward Sword, a long time ago, there was a war between some demons and, and the goddess. And then the goddess is like, fuck you, I have a sword. And, and she raised her harp into the air. And then a, a light just showed up out of nowhere and killed off the demons. Except it wasn't only, it wasn't only just the harp, it was, it was something else. You know, the light in, or something, I, I don't know, some sacred treasure. So anyways, the evil's like, yo, I want that, and she's just like, no. I'm gonna raise this piece of land into the sky and put only humans on it because they can't defend themselves. We'll leave everyone else on, on the earth below, but like the humans, they go, they go yeet. <laughs> they go yeet in the sky. And that's the story of Skyward Sword, the end. Everything's all dramatic. Oh, and I guess the, the, the final battle happened and then some demons got sealed away or something. I don't, I don't know. Peace was restored! The end! Roll credits! Should probably raise the volume on my fucking monitor so I can at least hear a tiny bit. A tiny bit more than usual. Sure. <laughs> oh, but you thought this was the end of the story. <laughs> we only just begun. Behold, we're about to start a franchise. Oh yeah, I should probably point this out. You might hear a fan in the background. 
It's hot as hell in my room. A more perfect example of why I hate the summer. Should probably, probably move my mic a little bit, but I think it's fine. It's just fine. There's no Wii Motion Plus video. I'm sad. I'm disappointed. <laughs> All right. Point the Joy-Con to the screen and press Y. Oh God, it is not calibrated. Jesus. Well, remember, press Y. Sometimes press A. Uh, camera control button, motion button. We'll use motions. We're gonna see how well motion control is, and if I hate it, we're switching to buttons. At least that's an option. Uh. What does this mean? Simple, normal. Oh, it's probably the button layout. All right, let's start a new a new file. Oh, that's disappointing. They're not they're not doing the the uh the input text here. It's just standard switch. Oh god, who should I name? You know what? You know what? You know what? It's Spud. It shall always be Spud. Spud is unfortunately my my cop out name <laughs> lately <laughs> in this game and in another game um, that will be on YouTube in a few weeks. <laughs> Subscribe to my Luigi Advance on YouTube. I'm trying to get to a thousand. So a little fun fact about this game, well, about me playing Skyward Sword. It's been like 10 years since I last touched this game. I think, oh, and I wouldn't say exactly 10 years, but I played it when it first released. I beaten it. I played through hero mode. Don't remember if I beat it. Tried the quote unquote challenge mode and then I just gave up and never touched it again. Because challenge mode and hero mode is kind of stupid. <laughs> Especially with motion controls. But yeah, that's just me. That's just me. Anyways. Yeah. It's funny that it's been 10 years. <laughs> and now I'm about to relive everything again and see if I could remember everything. <laughs> in glorious 60 frames that you guys can't see because my PC is hot garbage. Or if I wasn't stuck on Wi-Fi. I mean, what? <laughs> yes. Here, take this letter, bird. Man, what a thing to wake up to, am I right? <laughs> Rise, Spud. The time has come for you to awaken. You are fated to have a hand in a great destiny, and it will soon find you. The time has come for you to awaken, Spud. What a stupid name. My name's not stupid. Again, what a thing to wake up to. Delivery! <laughs> that will never not be funny. Same as that. Hey, sleepyhead. I know how much you like to sleep in, so I'm guessing this letter will be your alarm clock this morning. Then I guess right? Rise and shine, Spud. Today's the wing ceremony. You promised to meet me before it starts. Remember? You better not keep me waiting. 
Zelda. <laughs> she wrote me a letter. <laughs> she became my alarm clock. Ooh. 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 No. 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 Fast. Why? Why is normal so slow? Why was that the default speed and why is it slow? Okay. Okay, we fixed the problem. <laughs> now it's just another problem, but we'll just deal with that another problem later. Hey, blue rupee! Sweet! Better slap in my wallet. Cool. Anything else? There, there's a bed. Can I go back to sleep? I just want to go back to sleep. <laughs> I can't go back to sleep. God, Breath of the Wild has ruined me by giving Link the ability to jump. Use the camera to move around. Thanks, buddy! Alright, stamina. Hold B to run. Excuse me, I gotta use the bathroom! Excuse me, privacy. Excuse me, there you go. Privacy. The things you can do with the with the right stick being your camera. Amazing. Gone are the days of you just walking around, turning, and then use your stupid... Whatever this is. Hi, who are you? Uh, good morning, Spud. Today's the wing ceremony, right? I wanted to fly too, but I, I didn't make the cut, so I'm stuck back here at the academy. Plus, I gotta move these barrels over to the kitchen. I was hoping to be at least able to cheer on, Spud, but uh, I guess that's the way it goes. Go out there and wow them, buddy! Oh. Here, let me show you how it's done, buddy. That's how you do it. This- this is how you- this is how you pick up barrels. L look at him, he just- he's- he's shocked. Shocked by the fact that Link can carry this big barrel over his head with no problem. I don't even know where to put this! I'm running out of stamina. Hi. <laughs> What's all this? I thought I told Fletch to carry that. Bah, that's probably the best. That skinny boy would probably have gotten flattened. Hey, don't you have some important ceremony or such today? Huh. Well, thanks for the help. Oh no, I wasn't done yet. I gotta put this down normally. There. I put it down normally. <laughs> I can't leave it on the side. What is this, Donkey Kong? Oh, thanks. That was a huge help, Spud. I know it's not much, but here's half of the pay the old lady offered me to do that. Oh, now I feel like a jerk. But then again, I got 20 rupees. I got money. I have to hang back and watch the Academy today, so good luck with the ceremony, Spud. It's a canonical voice. I don't care. I don't care what anyone says. Hi, who are you? Ah, morning, Spud. So, today is the wing ceremony. Are you ready? All I'm saying is everyone else is out to practicing at the plaza, but you seem pretty relaxed about the whole thing. Of course, that crimson loft wing of yours is something special. I feel pretty confident riding him, too. My bird won the last ceremony, but even I don't think he could beat that red terror of yours. Of course, a bird's true speed in a race always comes down to the skill of a rider. I thought of some, I, I'm something of a bird researcher around here, so you know... If you ever find yourself in some need of bird expertise, come see old Pippet. Got you. How, how do you go into first person? This is how you go in first person. Ooh, look at this. Ooh, motion controls. Wow. The future of gaming. Just gotta remember to press Y. <laughs> press Y or you die. And thus, welcome to Skyloft, a town in the sky, hence the name. Yes. Alright, let's go. First statue, tell me to save. <laughs> Man, I miss Wiimotes. <laughs> I miss Wii Motion. <laughs> Do it, just, just like trying to control it, it's like annoying. Hey, Spud, up here! Oh my god, it's you. Good morning to you. 
<laughs> Good morning to you, Spud. Today is finally the day of the long-awaited wing ceremony. Are you feeling ready? Oh, I just remembered. There's something I'd like to ask you about. Target me, and then we can have a quick chat. I mean, I could. Ooh. Excellent. I'll always remember you can target someone to talk to them easily. And even when there isn't anything to target, it's a convenient way to quickly face your view forward. Oh, but that's a little silly. It's a little silly carry conversation. Come on. Hop on this stuff. You should be able to climb up if you dash. What do you think? Climb now. Oh my gosh, I activated tutorial mode. Oh no, what have I done? Shit, I ran at an angle. <laughs> How about we try this again and not run at an angle? Oh, I almost ran at an angle. Do I have to talk to you? No, but I want to. So, what are you up to? We should get some last minute bird riding practice in the morning, Spud. Oh, you have someone to meet. Ah, oh, Zelda's waiting for you, isn't she? Ah, oh, perfect timing then. I press B. <laughs> you see, Zelda's father, Headmaster Gipora, has a pet named Mia, and well, she scampered off again. I wonder where the cat can be. Ah, oh, look! Over there! Do you see her? I know, well, you can't. It's impossible, but just imagine you can't. Headmaster's busy working with Zelda preparation, uh, preparing for the ceremony. I thought that maybe I should feed her, but the ceremony's about to start, and I just put on a fresh set of clothes, and, well, you see, I like to keep appearances and somehow blink when my eyes are closed. Anyways, you wanna help me? Oh, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm busy. Ah, I see. Well, please tell the headmaster that Instructor Horror has found me out and shouldn't be worried. I'm still gonna go get the cat. <laughs> did I, did I just screw myself? Because I... Don't remember. Okay, you, you just like <laughs> you're just like. Hey, are you sure you want to do it? <laughs> you sure you don't want to do it? It's more tutorializing. Look, I know, I know how to climb. I know how to. I I vaguely remember how to play this game. Yeah, cause you shake, you shake, you shake. Oh, you gotta move. That's right. <laughs> Again, this isn't Breath of the Wild. Breath of the Wild has kind of ruined me in some aspects of things. Like I said, give Link the ability to jump in, and like stuff happens. All right. Well, we're up here now. Oh, well, I guess I can't reach the cat unless I like wash this barrel. Oh, come on, get get up! Don't press B. Hi. Well, aren't you the most? Aren't you the monk of God? Aren't you the most? There we go. Adorable creature. Can I still zoom in? Oh my god, I can still zoom in. <laughs> oh god, doing this with motion controls is kind of awkward. Uh, abort, abort, abort. <laughs> Hi. You look like you could claw my face. Oh look, you're up in the air now. Yeet. <laughs> Spud! You still don't get it! Still don't get what? That I can't just put the cat down? I mean, it's okay! It's flying back up. Look at it flap with his ears. What are you? Okay, land. <laughs> land so I can pick you up. And just raise you up. Uh, where are you? Can I, can I, can I trick shot you? Can we trick shot this? Oh, 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 wait. Wait. Oh. Wait. Trick shot! Ah, oh, my golfing skills did not translate well. But you look like you had fun. Here, you want to do it again? <laughs> it's down there now. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, that fucking works. Are you not complaining? Fine, whatever. <laughs> yeah, nice work. You brought it back. Sorry to trouble this. I should feed her now. <laughs> Stupid, hilarious. 
<laughs> oh yeah, I should give you a reward. Here, take this 20 rupees. Don't spend it all in one place. Just <laughs> find out hilarious. It's just like, yep. Good luck getting Mia now. I still can't. I still can't. I can't do walls. I can't <laughs> climb. I'm dying. That actually killed my throat a little bit. Man, remember when it was a safe statue, like, down there? Yeah, it's crazy, right? Hi, what's up, Pompadour man? Oh, morning, Spud. How's life? Did you manage to even sleep a wink last night? Figured you might have been tossing and turning all night thinking about the big ceremony today. What am I doing? Ah, just fixing this gate here. It's been squeaky lately, and we can't have that on the day of the ceremony. Hey, you haven't already forgot to send your prayers to the goddess this morning, have you? Just face the bird statue over there and say a short prayer to save your progress. As you know, those bird statues are all over Skyloft. It's about time you get in the habit of stopping the statue every time you run by one. <laughs> a prayer in time saves nine, if you know what I'm saying. Sorry, I'm a speedrunner. I don't do that. <laughs> you got a stamina fruit. It replenishes your stamina gauge. Oh look, it's another stamina fruit. There's two of them. Oh, this is a good time. Drink a cup of coffee while this happens. Oh, I've been baited by the fucking Joy-Con! <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> I thought... This, this, is, this is gonna sound so stupid. Low-key kind of glad I have a napkin, but like... <sighs> I hate everything. <laughs> okay, so remember when I said the Joy-Con was strapped to my wrist? And remember how I said it was like, it's gonna be super awkward, like, like, grabbing stuff Well, when this, these things are dangling from my wrist? Well, let me just say, I thought one of them was falling to the ground, low-key forgot that it's currently strapped on my wrist, and then reacted in a way that I, I kind of spilled coffee on myself. I mean, I'm, I'm fine, but... It's, it's stupid. It's called a heart, by the way. Did you know? Sorry, I'm feeling a little wet around at the moment. Take that out of context! <laughs> so, how do I look? Ah, uh, yes. My favorite options. Nice costume or uh. Oh, man. Who should Spud be? Who, who, what kind of person should, should Spud be? I don't know. I picked nice costume, but like dot dot dot. <laughs> and what is that supposed to mean, you goof? If you think I look silly, just come out and say it. I mean, with that stupid face? Yeah, he might as well just say it. <laughs> oh, hello, father. Oh, Spud, you're here too. Outstanding. It's encouraging to see you up so early, given your capacity for sleep. No doubt today's ceremony had you too excited to close your eyes for once. What have I told you your daughter sent her bird to slap a letter on my, on my face? If you win today's ceremonial race, you'll uh, get to participate in the post-race uh, ritual with Zelda, so give it your best out there. <laughs> yes, about that. Father, I don't know if he can do it. Recently, Spud hasn't been practicing much at all for the ceremony. And even when he's out riding his loftling, he's just lazily gliding around, probably daydreaming. I don't know what he's thinking. He's going to be in perfect. Uh, he's going to have to, be, have to be in perfect control with his bird to win today. Man, you have high doubts of my bird riding skills. Ah, don't worry, Zelda. Well, you may have a point, today's wing ceremony tests the skill of the rider, as well as his bond with the, to his bird. Victory will not come easily. Hmm. 
And as you pointed out, I haven't seen him practicing as hard as some of the other students. But you've known him since you were both very little. You should know him better than to fret about him. You see, Spun and his Loftling share a special connection. Never seen anything like it. As you know, each of us in Skyloft is but one half of a pair. We are only made whole by our Loftlings, guardian birds that the goddess bestowed upon each of us as a symbol of her divine protection. When we are young, every one of us meets our Loftling under the great statue of the goddess. What a big moment, as I'm sure you recall. Ah, but that first meeting between Spud and his Loftling was extraordinary. The bird came, that came to him was a Crimson Loftling, a breed so rare we were sure for some time it had vanished from the line. Yes, and the boy and his bird seemed to share a profound connection from the moment they met. Do you recall when Spun and that Loftwing of his first met? What a sight. The little boy just hopped onto that bird and gracefully flew away without even a moment of instruction. They were meant for each other. And by judging how jealous you were that day, I say the friendship he shared with his bird didn't go unnoticed by you, my dear. The sun's so bright today. Ah, but who can blame you? I'm sure you weren't the only one envious of that powerful bond shared by Spud and his bird. Anyone who's a part of something special is bound to catch some nasty looks sooner or later. <laughs> oh. Hoot! Sorry. Habit. The contest is nothing to laugh at, father. This ceremony is part of the final test for those training to become the Knights of Skyloft. If Spud doesn't fly fast even enough during the race... What if Spud messes up his big chance? What if he's not allowed to become a knight? Man, someone cares a lot. Eh, honestly, it's almost as though you become a completely different person when you worry about Spud. Hey. Listen, Spud, you better fly your heart out today. In the very least, you need to squeeze in a little practice time before the race. <gasps> oh, oh, there she goes. <laughs> Dragging me along. He'll thank me later. Here we go. Go on now. Jump off the edge and call your Loftling. It's almost time for the ceremony, so try to practice seriously for once. Hmm? Oh, yeah? You can't sense your bird out there? Oh, I get it. You're trying to weasel out of having to practice. Nice try, but you're not fooling me. Off you go. Okay, Spug, go ahead. Press the imaginary down button to call your loft wing. I haven't done shit. <laughs> hmm. This bird sure is taking a long time to get here. He, yeah, something is wrong. You just murdered someone today. <laughs> Man, I almost died. Oh, I'm sorry, friend. I didn't mean to push you so hard. You didn't spring your wing, did you? Oh, this is a very odd, Spud. What could possibly happen to your loft wing? For a bird to ignore a call of its master is unheard of. And you still can't send your bird nearby, eh, Spud? This is quite a problem, especially considering the wing ceremony is about to start. Spud, when you said you couldn't sense your Loftwing, well, uh, I should have believed you. I'm sorry. I need to tend to my own Loftwing, so I'll catch up with you later. Better go on ahead and see if you can find where your bird has gone. Uh-oh. Things are happening. <laughs> my, how did it get to be so late? If I recall correctly, this year Instructor Horrell is presiding over the ceremony. Spot, you should go explain the situation to him, see if he's willing to delay the race a little so that you can find your bird. 
Fine. I shall stare intently at him. <laughs> but father, you're the headmaster of the academy. If Spud asks Constructor Horrell, he'll probably just come talk to you about it. Got him. Eh, uh, quite true. As usual, you make an excellent point, my dear. Very well, I'll explain the situation to him myself. Spud, run along and tell Instructor Horrell to come see me in my quarters. What is the point of everything if I had, if you're just gonna talk to him? Well, better go run and see what happens. I'm, I'm running out of stamina. Okay, we're fine. I forgot, can you roll? Is it by shaking? Yeah, shaking. Ow. Man, I never realized how much I miss rolling when you can't even do it in Breath of the Wild. There's something wrong? What's the big hurry? What? Your loft wing's missing. I just saw him. Groose's bird was chasing off after your little feather fella. Where's Groose? Ah, oh, Groose and his cro little cronies saying they were heading down to the wing ceremony in the plaza. Oh, you still trying to get down to the south end? That uh, X on your map, uh, mark on your map, that's a plaza. It's where they're holding the wing ceremony. Go there. So my guess is that they might be in a plaza. Normally the fastest way there is just down this path. But this gate here still needs some work before it'll open. Can you go around the academy? Remember, check the map! Thank you, tutorial man, for telling me how to do tutorials. <laughs> then again, that wasn't there before. <laughs> hey, press minus, you idiot! Okay, you did it. <laughs> I'm here now. Oh yeah, and I can zoom in here and then look, bird statue. Look, there's where I am. Hey, I need help. Oh, what's wrong, Spud? You're looking a little pale. What? Your loft wing is missing? Huh, how strange and troubling. You think you could find him? You're going to start looking for him now? How do you make it back into flying time from the, the ceremony? Looks like your participation ceremony hinges on feather or not. <laughs> this guy decided to make a pun. I hate him. <laughs> feather or not, you can find that bird on time. God. <laughs> Joy-Cons are like smacking against everything. Well, if you'll excuse me. Oh, I see. The headmaster has summoned me. All right, then I'll go speak with him immediately. I still owe you for helping me out earlier. Haha, <laughs> see? Don't be an asshole. Okay, I'll roll now. Ah, oh, too much rolling. I'm tired. Oh, it's, it's actual mood. Actual mood. Are oh, you just gonna tell me, hey, roll into this tree? Oh, cool. You got the stag beetle. I want it. Ooh, money. If I smack into this tree, I get another money. Hey, kid. Oh, my sky stag beetle. So close. Oh, well. I can't do it when I need a bug in anyway. Wish I haven't thrown out the one I bought at Beetle's airship. Oh. Quick, roll around at the speed of sound. That's the quickest motion in this game. Oh, I'm tired again. Hold on. Running's hard. Okay, we're good. Guy was literally one step away. Oh, you know, Groose, that sure was a pain with all that scratching and pecking. <laughs> of course it was. You thought a big crimson loft wing like that was gonna go down without a fight? But we got him, and I don't care how tough those birds are supposed to be. He's not getting out of that pen anytime soon, boys. Whoa! Spud! Uh, so, uh, yeah, just how long have you been standing there? <laughs> What's your problem, anyway? Oh, wait, I got it. You're here to talk about today's race. I can see it in those dopey eyes of yours. They're pleading, oh, Groose, can you please find it in your heart to let me win today? Please? You're just desperate to win so you can spend, get some alone time with Zelda up on the statue of the goddess at the end of the ceremony. <laughs> well, sorry, pal. Groose doesn't do charity for wimps. My advice? Work hard and wish with all your heart. You might even come in second. Say, come to think of it, how come I don't see your bird? Where is that scruffy pile of feathers? 
Can't imagine what could have happened to him. Do you think his tiny brain got all confused by all the clouds and got lost? Nice hair. You lay off my dude right now, and I'll flatten you. Everyone knows I got the slickest pompadour in town. You know, we're all getting tired of how you never let anyone forget and you and Zelda go way back. You've been friends since you were kids. Big deal. Doesn't change the fact that you float through life with your head in the clouds. Would you wake up, straighten up, and grow backbone already? Dopes like you are dragging our honored academy through the mud. And just who might you be talking about, Bruce? Ooh, got him. Oh, Zelda. Hey, nah, it's, uh... Gonna, oh, okay. Just push me aside. Don't even try, Groose. You're picking on Spud again, aren't you? He's a student at the Academy, like all of us. Why Why do you insist on bullying him around so much? Uh, yeah, I suppose. He suppose? Suppose what? I, uh, suppose... You... <laughs> er... Pfft, forget it. I, was supposed to, I wasn't supposing anything, okay? Okay, we're out of here, boys. Later, Spud. Hope you can find your bird or else you're gonna sit out today's race. That could be a major setback toward knighthood, so find that bird or get real used to the taste of failure. It's your special flavor. What a goon. I hate to say it, but I'm beginning to suspect that those blockheads had something to do with your Lothling's disappearance. It's about those guys aren't gonna help us find your bird, so we better start searching. I'll fly around Skyloft and see if I can spot any trace of your bird. Father said he talked to Instructor Hall Hor Horwell about delaying the start of the wing ceremony, so don't worry. We'll find your bird in time. Well, I guess I better try to find some clues! Alright. Who here would have info about where my bird can be? Oh. Now, what's wrong, Spud? What? Your loft wing is... Missing? Yeah, thanks for the dramatic pause. Oh, that's terrible. I was looking forward to seeing that red blur streak through the sky. No, no, I haven't seen him. Hmm, why don't you look around by the Statue of the Goddess? You'll have a good view of the whole town from way up there. You know, you know where it is, right? You were just there like 10 minutes ago. Alright, fine. I'll go over there. <laughs> I'll go over there and like it. I actually do know where it is. Oh, you got a heart. Congrats. Uh, I guess I do have to go to the statue, don't I? Is the gate fixed? The gate is fixed. Magically. And Link can, like, roll upstairs. Hey, Spud! Over here! I have some information about your loft wing. Come over here! It's amazing you're able to spot me from back there. Hold on. Backflip. Oh, I can't backflip over the railing? Oh, that's disappointing. Fine. I was trying to be all dramatic. There. I was all dramatic. Hey. Hey, Spud. I was just looking for you. You, you just shouted my name from across the, across the town. What do you want? I heard your Loftwing has gone missing, so I thought I'd join in the search. Oh, well, aren't you kind? And get this. When I asked Fledge what he knew, he started acting weird. I'm so sorry, Spud. I really wanted to tell you, but if Groose found out, I told you. That well, sounds like Groose forced him to be quiet, keep quiet about it. Go on, tell him, tell him the truth. Uh. Well, just a little while ago, when I was cleaning the dining hall, Groose and his buddies came in. They didn't notice I was there and started talking about their plan to hide your loft wing. I wanted to warn you, Spud, but just I was trying to sneak away. Bruce and his gang grabbed me. 
They say if I told you, they make sure I will never be able to ride a bird ever again. That sounds like Roos and his buddies had a plan to capture your bird and hide him near a waterfall. Well, near a waterfall would mean... Uh, well, quick, you know what? Here, pull out your map. You have one. We all know you do. You know, that spot right there where the X is. That's the waterfall. You know, this one right here. This one. Oh, forgive me, Spud. Can't help for being such a coward. I'm really sorry. Well, I guess all I need to do is grab a sword. <laughs> so I'm gonna grab a sword. Hi, I hear you can rent a sword. Hey, it's Spud! So, you still want to get in some sword practice even though today's the wing ceremony? I'm impressed. The sword is in the back room. Go on back there and get it. I'll be here for a while, so if there's anything you don't understand, just go ahead and ask. Thank God you can skip this tutorial. <laughs> Thank God. You did it, you got the sword! Students at the Night Academy practice with these. It looks like it has a fairly sharp blade. Cool, I have a sword now. Now I can press plus and see the gear. Look, it's a sword. Ooh, how much can I with this wallet hold? 300 rupees. God, I miss when rupees don't have a limit. All right, bye. <laughs> Hey, Spud! Can't take swords outside of the sparring hall! That's illegal! What do you think you're doing sneaking out with that? Listen, buddy, my bird is missing, and I need to go behind a waterfall. What? Your loft wing's missing! You wanna go look for it? Huh, well, I guess I can make an exception just this once. But remember, Skyloft is a peaceful place. Only knights carry swords. So I don't want you swinging around like some crazy out there. I don't wanna get in tumble trouble over this, so here's the deal. Make sure you get plenty of practice on these locks first. And then once you get once you're outside and use it, Bob, Bob, reading's hard. Oh God. Remember, why is your friend? Wow, it's so it's so realistic. <laughs> Alright, I'm done. Alright, I got my practice in. <laughs> I'm so glad you can skip the sword tutorials. Hey, did you remember to put the straps on your Joy-Con? You better, or else you're gonna fling it across the room. All right, uh, I need a shortcut to the waterfall, and unfortunately there is no shortcut, is there? <laughs> Map. <laughs> Map of Yudame. Nope, <laughs> I gotta take the long way around. Well, technically, <laughs> long way around. I use that in quotes. Alright, well. Don't mind me, I'm just schmoovin'. Schmoovin' around at the speed of sound. Can't cross that bridge, people are gossiping. Okay, let me just grab the stamina fruit. <laughs> Press Z a few times. <laughs> Die in the water. Literally tie? Okay. <laughs> Gee, thanks. Yo, watch your step out there. You can't depend on knights. See ya. <laughs> Off they go <laughs> into the sunset. Okay, let's try this again. Oh god. <laughs> Controller. Oh god, can you not move fast? Can you not move fast in water? What is this? What is this stupid painful mess that I'm dealing with right now? Alright, we're fine. Someone's looking at the statue. I'm gonna keep walking this way and ignore everyone and everything and take out my sword. I just jump slash. I hear my bird! What's this sign say? Waterfall cave! Because of blood sucking monsters, no kids allowed. Well, I'm about to unleash some monsters. Oh, come on, you can let me through! I'm literally just trimming the tops of these logs. Ah! 
Okay, there. Now I can go in. <laughs> Literally just trimming. Oh, look, it's bats! Hey, let me tell you about this green rupee. Okay, you learned about green rupees. Now, stop talking to me. Wait, I remember something. Okay, no, it's not this one. I was like, wait, there could be a thing here. A thing that tells me. Oh, God. I forgot choo-choos are annoying like that. Yeah, this is how you sword play, right? Yeah, totally. Oh wait, I want to get that chest. How do I get up there? Well, it's a secret entrance. Right over here that I just blatantly ignored. Cool! More money! <laughs> I'm almost at a hundred! I'm rich! Hi. Get over here and die. Get over here and die. All of you get over here and die. Give me that. <laughs> you die. Something up there. Man, kind of weird that everyone just leaves 20 rupees around. Hi, come down here. Come down here so I can stab you. Ah, <laughs> oh, but wait, you thought we were done finding rupees, but look! 40 rupees, I'm rich! And then somehow do a 360 degree turn. Look, I'm out here, A-OK. -okay. Okay, I can just I can just ignore all of you. Hi, I'm here now. I'm free! Let me save my game. You wanna save this file? Yes. Why do you gotta keep asking me? Oh, Zelda, you found me. Hey, Spot. I was hoping I'd find you here. Yeah, how'd you know I'd be here? I heard you gone searching for your burn around the waterfall, so I thought I'd fly around to help you look. How's your search going? Any sign of your lawfling? Hmm. Oh, no. Well, let's not lose hope yet. There's a place up ahead that Groose and his gang always hang around. Are always hanging around. Maybe we'll find something there. Huh? Who? Who's that? Who's calling for me? Oh, uh, sorry, Slut. I got distracted for a moment. Let's go. You sure you're feeling okay, Zelda? I think you need to stay home. <laughs> stay home and whatever. Look, there he is! No doubt about it, that's your loft wing, Spud. Oh my god, they boarded him up in a cave! Good thing I have this sword here that can cut through rope. Hold on, I, I have to I have to be precise. I have to be precise. That's not precise. Hold hold on, my hand is being jank. Oh. We're not done yet. <laughs> hold on. I need to calibrate my hands. There we go, we're fine. He's free now. We should hurry, Spud. Now that your wing is free, you should fly to the ceremony. True that. But before you go, I have I have to ask you something. I 
I heard his voice a few moments ago. Do you hear it too? What voice? It's been happening a lot lately. It's a strange feeling. Almost like someone is calling out to me. Have you ever wondered what's beneath the clouds? Some say it's an empty, barren place, or even that there's nothing at all down below. But I just have this feeling that they're wrong. Some of Father's old texts talk about a place called the surface. The old tales describe a wonder uh, of describe a whole world under there, far more vast than Skyloft. Thing is, no one's ever been down there to see it, and our loftlings won't fly through the cloud barrier. But I can't help imagine imagining the wild things that might be waiting below. Something I want to see for myself. Oh, sorry, Spud. We don't have time to talk. Let's get going. Look, your bird's waiting for you. Just leap off the edge and press the imaginary down button. Don't worry about falling. Your bird wish to catch you for sure this time. As long as you don't push me off. <laughs> Alright, off I go. Quick! Press the button! Pr press the button, you fool! Okay, fine, I'll press the button. Nothing will progress. Oh god, bird. Oh god, bird. <laughs> Alright, let's see if I remember the controls. Do that. Rise up. Down. Do we have to run down to basics? I I kind of I kind of know the basics. Yeah, direct your bird outward. Do that. Do the dive. How's he handling? You think he's flying all right? Yeah, he's flying fine. He's okay. Can we just get to the ceremony? He is fine. He's flying high into the sky and then diving like a bird. He is perfectly fine. Okay, cool, but are we done? Well, I would try to charge. Oh, that's weird. X is a charge and not A. Weird. But it makes sense in, like, come in, like, in controller standpoint. But it's still weird considering my hand was on the A button ready to go. Oh, I guess you want me to slow down, huh? Yeah, that's slowing down, all right. Okay, we're, we're done. Kind of gotten used to the controls now. Look at me go, diving straight into the clouds. Okay, there we go. <laughs> huh, that's a huge relief. I don't know about you, Spud, but your loftling looks like he's flying great. My father and the others are probably worried about you first, so let's go give them good news. How are we that close to Skyloft when we were like 10,000 feet away? <laughs> now your loftwing is really amazing, especially considering everything the poor guy's been through this morning. I'm going to fly back and tell father what happened. No. <laughs> well, well, if it isn't Spud. Word around the plaza is you found your that dumb bird of yours. Well, that's just great, because you and your dumb bird can't tell time. All the pre-race warm-ups mean to you guys didn't work for nothing. Now I'm all stiff. You've been waiting forever for the race to start, and they delay for you? I don't get it. The big flake gets special treatment. <laughs> You're almost a man, and yet you still can't seem to go anywhere without Zelda. I bet you can't even decide what to have for lunch on your own, huh? And don't think we haven't noticed the smug looks. Ooh, Zelda and I are best friends. We go everywhere together. Ugh. You think you're pretty suave, don't you? Well, don't you? Uh, Grizz has been going off forever about how he's gonna be the one to be with Zelda. He really got his pompadour and a ruffle about her. <laughs> <laughs> no, I hate to break it to you, but today's the day I busted up of this adorable little fantasy land you're living in. Zelda's playing the role of the goddess at today's ceremony, and I'm going to be the one to claim that sailcloth. 
when I heard she made it herself, man. No way I was gonna let some scrawny clown snatch that prize from me. Oh yes, that seal cloth, Zelda seal cloth will be mine. <laughs> oh man, I bet she was thinking about me when she was stitching it. I highly doubt that. <laughs> yup, I can see it now. First I win the big race and then Zelda and I finish the ceremony together on the statue. Just the two of us. It will be our special moment alone. Nobody's stopping me and Zelda from having our moment. Oh, it's so real. I can... I can see it. <laughs> oh, yeah. G gross! Psst, gross! Behind you! Right behind you! What? Can't you still see I'm in the middle of... Duh! Care to explain just what you meant by our special moment alone? I, uh, uh, nothing big, really, just, just, uh, but, yeah, I was just telling my buddy here how glad I was he found his, that found that red bird of his. <laughs> Boy, am I looking forward to a fair race. Uh, anyhow, later, Zelda, look for me during the race. I'll be the one pulling off all the dangerous moves. Hey, Groose, wait up! Did you hear that guy? A fair race? Yeah, the chances of that happening are about less than zero. Either way, don't let those fools get you down, Spud. Just get out there and fly the best you can. I know you got these guys beat, and deep down I think you do, uh, you do too. So about us and alone, huh? Oh, come on, Spud. Try to focus for once. Hey, you're not opposed to the idea, so I'm just saying. The link ceremony will now begin. Participating students, please assemble. Oh, looks like race. it's race time. Good luck, Spud. Kind of hilarious. Not hilarious. Kind of interesting that this is like their graduation to become knights. Your attention, please. At last, here we are, ready to begin the wing ceremony. I was beginning to worry that we had to proceed without Spud, but luckily that is no longer a concern. Glad you all can make it. Before we start, I'll explain the rules for today's competition. I have attached a small statuette to this bird, who I will then release to the skies. On my signal, dash from the starting line and dive off the ledge. Once you're in the air, mount your loft wing. Remember to call your bird promptly with the imaginary down button once you dive off. Whoever catches the bird and claims the statuette will be this year's champion. Those are the rules. Simple enough. I think I should think. Simple enough, I should think. You want to hear them again? <laughs> again, 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 again. No. Excellent. As you well know, today's champion will graduate to the next class, bringing him one step closer to knighthood. You also receive a gift from the young woman chosen to play the role of the goddess in this year's ritual. Today is a special day for many reasons, but it's also the 25th anniversary of our fine institution. But we're at 35 now. <laughs> we are currently in 35. How are we still at 25th? Sorry. It's just like this game came out on the 25th anniversary of Zelda, and now we're at here we are 10 years later. It's funny. It's really funny when you think about it. Uh, to celebrate the occasion, today's champion will also receive his gift atop of the high atop the statue of the goddess. I hear the young woman performing the role of the goddess this year has crafted the gift herself. And as you all well know, the role of the goddess this year will be performed by... <laughs> the lovely Zelda! <laughs> Let's see your finest flying out there. Show me just how hard you've been practicing. Also, I want to see a good, clean fly. Anyone caught interfering with other riders will answer to me. That goes double for you, Groose. Hey. All right, gentlemen, line up. At my command, the competition will begin. Hey. Go. Oh, oh, we started. Can I talk to people? Hey. 
<laughs> it's just a competition. I want the platform. Fine. I'll casually jog. <laughs> you idiot. <laughs> you can't depend on knights, especially when you're dealing with an important ceremony. Ah, oh, fine. Let's call my bird and get out of here. Sorry, I just I just want to be haha -ha funny. All right, well, let's uh let's uh show these clowns who's the best flyer around. Oh, look at that! I've already won. Nope. <laughs> A little too early. Oh god. Oh god. Motion. Controls. <laughs> I can't drive this bird. It's too difficult. <laughs> Excuse me. Coming through. Ow. I decided to go fast, but no. Bruce was like, I'm gonna bump into you. Yeah, I almost got it! Hey, don't you know this is my day to get all the glory? Ow. Yeah, you heard him. Let's see how you fly with egg on your face. Bro, why, where did you get the eggs? Where did you get the eggs and why are you chugging them at me? Oh god, that one, that one was trying to snipe me from afar. But it's fine, because all I gotta do is press A. I did it! I got the bird statuette! You did it! Proves your victory. <laughs> Wait until Zelda sees this! Spud! Well, someone's feeling reckless. Don't worry, I'm fine. Again, someone's reckless. <laughs> Great flying, Spud. Congratulations. Now we better get on with the ceremony. That was a great time for coffee. And remember to not, like, fucking die. I would talk, but, like... <laughs> Talking kills my voice. I also just realized I'm like a little farther back from my mic because I kept moving. Great goddess guiding light and protector of our people. Grant us your blessing and mercy as I act in your as I act in your stead during the ceremony. Valiant youth who grasp victory at the celebration of the bird folk. In accordance with the old ways, I now bestow you the blessings of the goddess upon you. The blessings of the goddess drift down from the heavens aloft the sail, for which I now pass on to you. Look, you got the sailcloth! Do your stupid pose, Link. Do it! Now you can jump off from any height without the fear of any, any fear of a painful landing. It smells nice. <laughs> Spy, quit goofing. This is supposed to be a sacred ritual, remember? Look, I can't help that I gotta hold the item and have it spin in the air. You know, they say that a goddess gave the sailcloth to her chosen hero long ago. Of course, the one you're holding isn't the same one. I've been working hard to finish making this sailcloth in time to give it to the uh, to give it to today's champion. I'm really, I'm really glad to give it to you, Spud. 
Make sure you take good care of it, okay? I mean, it smells nice. Thanks for making it up here to do this with me today, like you promised, Spud. I mean, yeah. Now, we really should finish up this ritual. You do know what happens at the, at the end, right? Why do I have a bad feeling about this? And just what are you thinking? Don't be silly, this is your big moment, Spud. You have to jump off the statue! Wait, what? Look down there, see that big round design on the courtyard below? To finish the ceremony, you need to drop down to right to the center of it. Leap off the edge right here, right before you hit the ground, and press that button to open up your cell cloth. Just how brave are you? If you're really fearless, you will wait until the last second to use your cell cloth. So, ready to jump? <laughs> Why don't I get a chance to prepare? Oh no! Well, I'm dead. <laughs> oh boy, I see you messed up your landing. That's because I was pushed. Remember, once you dive off to the edge, you can control the angle of your fall by tilting your body. You know what I mean, right? Oh, thank you for giving me the opportunity to actually jump on my own. Oh god. <laughs> Motion controls are stupid. I did it. Now it's perfect! You're amazing, Spud! <laughs> you, you know, Spud, seeing as how you won today... And with the weather being so nice... You think maybe you'd like to, you know, go flying around the clouds together? I mean, I'm not gonna say no. <laughs> Spud? Hey, Spud! Today was amazing. Watching you win the race and performing the ritual together? I'll always remember this. It really was wonderful. <laughs> he. You know, Spud. There's something I've been meaning to talk to you about. What is that? Oh, looks like a twister. What's going on? Well, there I go. Yeah, across the sky. Bud. I am waiting for you. The time for you has come for you to awaken. You are vital to a mission of great importance. Spud. That's a... That's a sight. Yeah, am I dead? Ah, oh, you're awake. Cool. When your Loftwing carried you back, you were limp and unconscious. I feared it worse. Fortunately, you don't appear to have any serious injuries. For that much, we can be grateful. But 
uh, Spud, where's Zelda? She was with you, was she not? What's happened to my daughter? Well, there's this great tornado, right? And then it sucked her in! And then I don't know where she went because I yeeted off across the sky. Black tornado, you say? Hmm. That was no ordinary storm. Well, time to get up and go. <laughs> you must not push yourself. You're still recovering. Tell me, when you saw Zelda today, didn't you anything about her seem off? Well, she did mention she keeps hearing a voice. I see. She was talking about the surface then. And you've been having dreams about a great mission? How interesting. Ah, I'm sorry. I was lost in thought there for a moment. It's all very strange, but I doubt there's much of a connection between these things. I'm concerned for Zelda, but so long as she's with her Loftwing, I'm sure she'll be fine. Either way, Daybreak has yet to arrive. It'll be very difficult to spot one girl and her bird in the dark of the night. It'll also be very dangerous. Rest now, Spud. Zelda's going to be fine. She's out there alive. I know it. Ooh, something is calling for to me. Man, I must be tired. Oh, going back to bed. <laughs> just, just let me let me go back to sleep. <laughs> Game's not letting me sleep. All right, fine. We'll we'll go do the thing. Do I have money? Yay! I found another blue rupee. I'm rich. All right, for real though. <laughs> Can I just run? I can. I can lightly jog inside buildings. She has faded through the door. <laughs> Quick, let me roll around at the speed of sound. I got places to go and people to follow. Why are you going that way? Oh yeah, I can't go there. Alright, fine. Shortcut it is. Oh look, it's that little weird cat creature. Except it's not an ordinary cat creature, it's an evil cat creature. Ow. Here, kill it. Kill it with a sword. Can I pick you up? I can. Oh, look at it. Look at it trying to claw my face off. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Yeah, look at it trying to claw my face off and like it's just standing there taking it like a man. Well, you know what we must do. Hold on, hold on, mysterious spirit. I have a job. Ah, never mind, this chew is bothering me. Oh god. Everything was going so wrong in a matter of seconds because of a chew. Get out of here. Alright. Now I know what we must do. Yee! What's in here? Again, people just leave rupees all over the place. Alright, well. Ooh, should probably let my stamina recover first before I start climbing ledges because everything takes stamina. Don't ask me why, that just does. All right, I'm here. It's no fair. You could fly. 
I have to grab onto ledges. And beat up every monster that decides to show up. Wait, where's the... I was like, where's the keys? It's gone. Ooh! Look at that! Got a jelly blob! <laughs> I can make things. He just grabbed his heart. Okay, I'm here. I have followed you. I'm at the back of the statue. Okay then. In I go. To the inside. Rolling around. Oh hey, it's a sword. The one chosen by my creator. I have been waiting for you. You will play a role in a great destiny. According to your social customs, I should provide you with my personal designation. Phi is the name I was given. I was created for a single purpose, long before the recorded memory of your people. I must aid you in fulfilling the great destiny that is your burden to carry. Come, Spud. You must take up this sword. As the one chosen by my creator, it is your destiny. But I don't wanna. The strange dreams troubling your sleep, my sudden appearance, uncertainty surrounding the fate of your one of one you hold dear. Under the circumstances, it is only logical that you would exhibit some apprehension. Calling me dumb? To minimize your uncertainty, allow me to share some information. My projections indicate that this information has a high probability of altering your current emotional state. The one you seek, Honorable Zelda, is still alive. <laughs> My emotions, they changed! And this spirit maiden, the one you call Zelda, is another chosen fated to be part of the same great mission. Therefore, should you wish to meet with your friend, I highly recommend you take up this sword before you set out to search for her. Well, I guess I don't have choice. Does that information invigorate you? Are you ready to accept this sword? Well, I guess I have no choice, do I? It seems that further persuasive measures will not be required. In the name of my creator, draw the sword and raise it skyward. Okay. <laughs> I'll examine it. Oh god, I forgot about this. You literally have to... You literally have to, like, dangle it. Hold on. Okay. Now I pull it up. And now I gotta raise it skyward. I did it. I did the one requirement the game has me do. <laughs> you got the goddess sword. Sorry, I was drinking coffee. Recognition complete. Master. Spud. My master. Man, this thing knows how to glow. Spud! I've had my suspicions, but until now I wasn't sure. Yet here we are in the Chamber of the Sword. The very place where it was foretold the youth of legend would one day appear. 
It is said that this place was left uh, to our people by the goddess herself. The very knowledge of this room's existence is a secret passed down to a select few each generation along with handful of words. Handful of words. When the light of the goddess's sword shines bright, the great apocalypse will wake from its long slumber. Do not fear, for it is that when a youth guided by my hand shall reveal himself in the mo place most sacred. It started days ago. That's the sword that I've kept secret all these years. Then it began to give off a faint otherworldly light. At first, I was sure I was seeing things here alone with the sword. There was simply no other explanation. I never dreamed that the prophecy of the legend would come pass in my lifetime. The words I have sworn to keep secret are coming true before my eyes. The youth will be guided by one born of the blade, one who is also youthful in likeness, yet wise with knowledge immeasurable. Ah uh, yes, the oral tradition, one of the least reliable methods of information retention and transmission. It appears that critical sections of the passage have been lost over the generations. What? The youth who draws forth the guiding sword shall be known as the goddess's chosen hero. It is he who possesses an unbreakable spirit. He shall be burdened with the task of abolishing the shadow of apocalypse from the land. Such is his destiny. With the spirit of the blade at his side, he shall soar over the clouds and plummet below. And united with the spirit maiden shall bring forth a piercing light that resurrects the land. Oh, hey. Wait. Some of Father's old texts talk about a place called the Surface. The old tales describe a whole world below, far va more vast than Skyloft. Wait, so you mean that's actually true? Master, you must embark on a great journey beneath the clouds to the vast realm of the Surface. It is only through this journey that you can fulfill the mission set before you uh, by my creator, the Goddess. It is also the only method available for you to reunite with the Spirit Maiden, Honorable Zelda. It's no easy task, bud. The world below is a forsaken place, and to reach it, you must pierce the cloud barrier below. In living memory, no one's ever done this. Hold on. I have a light. This tablet will illuminate a path through the clouds to the land below. Take it and place it within the altar behind me. <laughs> Hold on, I must do this dramatic pose! Master, the first thing you must do is hit the crest si uh, sitting in this room with a skyward strike. These, bla these blasts are formed by a pure energy that charges within your blade when you lift it skyward. Once you have charged your blade, face the crest and swing your sword to send out a powerful skyward strike. Alright, fine. If I have to. All I gotta do is just target it. Raise it upward. Oh god. <laughs> Why? <laughs> oh, I should have done a, a stupid overly dramatic flip. Aw, oh, missed opportunity. You did it. You found the thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, I have to put the tablet out, do I? Hold on. And there we go. Should be able to fit. So, I wonder what happens now. Master Spud, and it is done. Until now, a cloud barrier created by the goddess has separated the world you know from the one below. The tablet you place in the altar has opened a small rift in the barrier. You can use it to travel through the clouds into the realm below. I have recognized you as my master, and so it is my duty to follow you wherever you may go. I reside within your sword and will accompany you in your travels. 
Just imagine the down button and then you can summon me whenever you require my assistance. <laughs> Spud, listen a moment. The nature of the great apocalypse mentioned in the old text is a complete mystery to me. But whatever it turns out to be, it seems that both you and Zelda have a big role to play in the destiny of this land. Just think if what this spy says is true. Zelda is alive. Alive and no doubt coming to terms with whatever it is the goddess has in store with for her. Should you heed a call of destiny, I don't know what dangers you may face uh, you have to face, Spud. Especially down there. But if you decided to brave the unknown, please find my daughter and bring her back to me. What we've seen here today defies explanation. But it's the only but it is only the start of your journey. Please see it through and prove the legend is true. Oh man, but it's so much. Ah, I'm sorry, Spud. I know it's a heavy load to shoulder, but you're the only one who can bear it its weight. Well, at least you gave comforting words. The dawn is draw uh, drawing near. Has been a long night for the both of us, hasn't it? You have a great journey before you, Spud. And those clothes, they don't look like up to the task. The uniform you were to receive for winning the race should be ready by now. A starting uniform like that will prove to be much more suitable for a long journey. You better change before you go. <laughs> oh, I hope it's green. Oh, hell yeah, it's green. Mm. That green uniform is what our knights will be wearing this year. To be honest, I had my doubts about the color. But oddly enough, seeing you wear this uniform, I can't imagine a more fitting color for you. It's as, as, it's as though you were born to wear it. Tell me about it. It works. Take care on your journey. And be sure to stop by at some of the shops at the bazaar here in town to equip yourself properly for the travels ahead. I will return to my quarters to see if I can glean more uh, useful information from the ancient texts. You're always welcome to stop by if you have questions. You and Zelda shall be in my prayers. May the goddess watch over here and guide you both. He. So you're just gonna stay here in my room, huh? Well, I'll just grab the money. Oh no! My rupee stash! It's gone! Sad! Alright. I'm gonna take a quick break. Get up and stretch. My eyes are bothering me so much, so I need to put some eye drops again. So, BRB. Don't go anywhere.
jeez, you had a storm to go through? That's, that's nuts, dude. Hi, I'm back. <laughs> Have I ever mentioned how much I hate my seasonal allergies? Because I hate it very much. It always happens in the summer. My eyes kill me. And I suffer. Part of the reason why I hate summer. The other part is I hate the heat. Yikes. That's always fun. Hey, I'm gonna need you to stay an extra hour or so because we need shit done. <laughs> no, have you seen outside? Don't mind me, I'm just trying to re restrap the fucking Joy-Cons because ooh, motion can Oh, I can't I can't pull out my sword. Still, ooh, motion controls. Ooh. Anyways. <laughs> Anyways, let's just get back to... To the Zelda. <laughs> I almost hit the wrong screen. Oh, it's always a good thing. Thanks, Rain. You provide once... You, you're proven useful once again. Alright. Hey. Spud! Hi. Oh, that green uniform looks so adventurous. <laughs> you should look like a knight now. Oh, the headmaster said you're heading out to look for Zelda. You're really something else. I could never imagine myself doing what you're about to do. Uh, I put a lot of work into making this, so you should take it with you. Aw, oh, thanks, buddy. I hope you don't mind me holding it in a very awkward angle. But you press the R button? Interesting. It's an adventure pouch. It's for adventures. It's neat because you can fit four things in it, and you'll need it on your big journey. You can buy all kinds of stuff at the bazaar that you can put in this pouch. You should go look. You can buy some potions and a shield. They fit in the pouch, and they might come in handy on an adventure. Spud, I know you'll find Zelda. I just know you'll find Zelda for us. Ah, so it's something you don't have experience in, and your boss is like, yo, I want you to do it. Hey, hey I just saw the news. Out of all of us, how come you only only you got promoted to senior class? Talk about stupid calls. On top of that, Groose won't come out of his room, and Zelda is missing. It's not your fault. Way to go there, buddy. So the senior class guy you are. Who are you? <laughs> Who are you again? I don't remember. Oh, right, you can roll shit. Oh, oh, this will be fun. Okay, we, we gotta line it up. No, 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 no. You're not allowed to move. You're not allowed to move. Damn. Fuck! <laughs> I hit the corner. Yeah, I'll, I'll clean it up in a sec. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is important. This is important. This is important. Okay, he's in my line of sight. Okay, stop moving. <laughs> that was kind of That was kind of anticlimactic right there. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> that could have gone better. All right, well, anyways, enough dicking around. All right, we got stuff to do, supplies to get, free shit to get, because I am too cheap to spend money. I need to find someone in this person whom I might be looking for. I heard a new spud. Zelda's falling through the clouds, and you're going to look for her, is that right? Headmaster told me there's land beneath the clouds. Do you know anything about that? So that's the famous sword. Ah, but it won't do you much good if you don't have a shield to protect yourself with. Here, take this with you. Oh, thanks, I got a shield. It breaks easily and burns, so be careful how to use it. Thanks! 
The wooden shield is light and maneuverable, but it's the weakest of all shields. Also keep in mind, it's perfectly vulnerable to fire. If it breaks, you can buy a new one at the bazaar. You equip a shield, press, you just imagine an R button, and then you just select the shield. And then you let go of said R button. You're not sure how to use the shield? Thank Commander Agrus. <laughs> yes. At the sparring hall, we'll happily teach you. Was that on purpose? Oh no. You tell me. Oh. Excuse me, Fi, I was about to equip my shield. Master, I have an update regarding the stone tablet and resulting column of light created. The column of light has appeared to the south of our location, and signs indicate it has created an opening in the cloud barrier to land below. I must also caution that you, uh, you that descending to the surface armed only with a sword will result in descendant <laughs> decreased probability of survival. Yeah, I was about to equip a shield, and then you just popped up out of nowhere. If you have not already done so, I advise you to purchase the shield and potions at the bazaar in preparation for your journey. Yeah, I was about to equip the shield! Fucking... I'm so glad you're not as annoying as you, you used to be. Rolling around at the speed of sound. Alright, bazaar, bazaar, bazaar. What's this? What is it that my eyes behold? Oh, young man, what calamitous visions appear before me. You may choose not to believe me, but my eyes foresee a hazardous thorny road ahead of you. Stare into my eyes. Thorny path. But I can foresee for what will befall you, for I'm a fortune teller. Trust in my piercing eyes. Listen to my pure and innocent voice. I will do you no harm. Gaze deeply into my eyes and come closer. <laughs> no, you didn't hear that right. <laughs> Hi! Yes! Can you give me a bottle? Yeah, I know. I don't have a bottle. Can you just give me an empty bottle? Thank you. I guess I should buy a potion. What is it? Red potion that restores hearts? Yeah! Let me spend 30 rupees. I hope you don't mind if I just dunk my entire hand in there. All right, and what else do you got? Oh yeah, I forgot about this dude. Hit him and his like, his greedy hands, and then slightly disappointment when slight disappointment when you just walk away. Look at him, like the peddler he is, like the peddler that he is. All right, whatever. All right, I got my potion. I got my thing. Got my bottle! I guess there's only one thing left to do. Yeet myself off the cliff and then... Yeet myself off the cliff. Yeah, that's what you do, right? Quick! I must roll around at the speed of sound! Wait for it. Wait for it. There we go. I also don't know why I angled that <laughs> towards that direction, but I angled towards that the uh, that direction. Fly up into the sky, you bird, and then quickly dive off because we must speed run. I should be triggering something right about now. Off I go. I'm pretty sure I was closer to the clouds. You don't even need to press a button. 
It just does it automatically. Master, please make sure to use your sailcloth when descending from high elevations. Fall if failing to do so has a high probability of resulting in injury. I took the liberty of deploying the sailcloth for you this time, but in the future you can manually engage it by pressing that button. But you're still gonna do it regardless. Master Spud, we have arrived. This is the fabled surface that has been long been part of Skyloft's legend. By my calculations, you are currently positioned in a location known as the Sealed Grounds. It's amazing. <laughs> you are here. Right here. Please proceed with caution, Master. Yeah, yeah, you don't have to tell me twice. There's a bird statue here, right? Yeah, I can save. Oh, I can't interact with this one. This one's dead. <laughs> Got it. All right. <laughs> I forgot how combat works. Oh, God. I forgot how combat works. There. <laughs> We're fine. We're fine. That is not. That is not the angle. Okay, hold on. Hold on. I need to calibrate my arm. Fine, I know what I'm doing. Shut up. I just need to calibrate my arm. Does that make sense? Oh, wait. You know, you're doing horizontal dealies and then you you do the you do the straight you do the straight dealies hold on I gotta calibrate my arm I could just use button controls but I'm too lazy I'm not even pointing up, I'm pointing sideways! Oh man, am I having another nightmare? Oh no, extreme headache. My one weakness. I think Link. I think Link died. Oh, I'm sorry. This is Spud. Who the hell's Link? I guess I should check what's check out this place. Hello! I'm here to roll on your doors. Fine. I have three hearts, I should be fine. Young one. Child of destiny descended from the sky. Raise the sword of the goddess skyward. Take aim at the evil aura and unleash its power. Okay. I shall do it. I was like, I can just target this, right? Yeah. Ah, damn it. I wasn't overly dramatic with it. <laughs> Alright, that's shut it up. Master Sud? Uh, Sud? Yeah, Master Sud. I'm sensing a change in the area that was triggered by your Skyward Strike. I have also detected an aura that correlates closely to your sailcloth. I summarize this aura belongs to Zelda. I can lead you in the direction of this aura through the processing known as dowsing. No, please. No. I'm good. I know how to douse. 
Although I do need to find out which button it is. Well, you're just gonna tell me anyways, thanks. So just hold the up button. <laughs> point, point, uh, point, sword. Lead me to where Zelda is. She is through the wall. I understand. All right. Where is the direction I need to go? Oh, what? <laughs> cool. Nice to know. I'm about to die. Is there, is there hearts? Is there a singular heart? No? Okay. I tried. There is hearts. We are fine. Oh, thank God I can go through this door now. Huh, weird. It's a temple. And a save point. Alright, cool, I did it. <laughs> I saved my game. Hello! Oh. Ah! The traveler descended from the clouds above. I welcome you, child of fate. Mm -hmm. Tell me, what is your name? Spud? Ah, oh, Spud! Good, very good. I sense you've already gained control over the sacred power that fills your sword when pointed skyward. The skyward strike is yours to command. It is proof that you are fit to bear the blade you carry, the goddess sword. I have sat here for many years, waiting for you to arrive, also that I could fulfill my purpose as your guide. You stand under the roof of the sealed temple. A place built by the goddess an eternity ago. Your arrival here was predestined many, many years ago. The spirit maiden you seek arrived here shortly before you, descending to this land in a shower of light. There's no doubting it. The gears of fate have begun to turn. Yet, all it is not as it should be. The spirit maiden was not meant to reach this land in the manner she did. I feel an evil power working in the shadows. It moves to warp the destiny of which the two of you are a part. Mm -hmm. Spud, you are concerned for the Spirit Maiden, and seek her whereabouts, yes? That is understandable, but for now, you must focus on moving forward. That girl has her own purpose she must pursue, as do you. She set out for Faron Woods and discovered that destiny for herself, and you must follow. Show me your map. How do you know I have a map? That X on your map marks the path that will lead you to Faron Woods. You will be traveling in unfamiliar land. Many monsters have settled here, and a map may not prove guidance enough for your journey. And so I wish it will give you the power to, uh, to create beacons. When a beacon is marked on your map, a column of light will stand at that location. It will act as your waypoint from afar. Point at the X and press that button to place the beacon. I placed it. Though you cannot see it from where you are, a beacon stands outside to guide you. Leave the temple through the front doors and see for yourself. When you no longer have a use for a beacon, you can remove it from your map by pressing that button. Use your beacons well and you will never fear getting lost. <laughs> I am guest starring in Warframe. Yeah, you popped up out of nowhere. Go now. You must head on into Faron Woods and chase after the spirit maiden, the one you call Zelda. On your way out, Take the contents of the treasure chest within this room. What you find there should prove useful to you on your journey. Ah, uh, yes, with the power of your hair, <laughs> you open the door. Yeah, no, that answers 
time. Where is the chest? Dramatic side flip. Oh, damn it. Can I do dramatic? Dramatic backflip. That works. Oh, sweet. A bottle. It restores my shield and reco reco recovers? Recovers. Recovers my hearts. <laughs> Everything recovers my hearts. Speaking of hearts. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. And that, when we just saw was Link's inner thoughts. He had this to say. Dot, dot, dot. Alright, cool. <laughs> Damn it. Hair magic. It gets hairy sometimes. Ha 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 ha. Man, kind of weird I have that ability to suddenly place beams of light in my path that everyone can see. Weird. Birds! Gasp, someone's in trouble. Out of the way! Squirm! It's okay, buddy. I'm here to save the day! Alright, everything's a puzzle. Sorry, buddy. I'm gonna have to swing my sword in front of your face. You're fine now, right? Yeah. You. Thanks for jumping in to rescue me, bud. Just who wore those red pests? Didn't I expect to run into a pack of them in this peaceful forest. Same goes for you. This is the second time I bump into one of your kind today. I tell you, all sorts of weird things are going on lately. I owe you big for taking care of those guys, so let me tell you something fascinating. Hey, hey bud, I'm Gorko the Goron. I'm researching the ancient history of these woods here. According to ancient texts, there's some kind of place above called the Isle of Goddess far up in the sky. Apparently, old, these old statues served as landmarks to those traveling up to the sky or down from this Isle of the Goddess place. If you find one, be sure to examine it to keep tabs uh, to keep tabs on the number of landmarks. They are rumored to be quite useful. Supposedly, this statue is special and is said to have the ability to activate all other statues. Mm. Well, thing sounds a little crazy, I know, but I, for one, believe it to be true. Otherwise, why would all these statues be here all over the place? It's a real head scratcher, bud. Makes you want to know more, does it not? I mean, yeah, but not really, but yeah, but not really, but yeah, but not really. Oh. It's tutorial, right? Ah, sounds like I have a fire room fellow connoisseur in the ancient, of ancient cultures here. All right, but you have better brace yourself because I'm about to blow your mind. So get this. People actually live on this sky island, and they get around by flying on the backs of huge birds that are way bigger than birds down here. Up there, everyone reveres the goddess, and the residents of all the islands in the sky live in a peaceful, uh, in a perfect society, totally free of conflict or, un or unhappiness. Not only that, but from what I can tell, their civilization is way, way more advanced than ours down here. But it does not even stop there, bud. This Isle of the Goddess has even more stuff to marvel at. The place was crafted by the goddess herself, so it figures that it is filled with wonders we do not have here. The buildings are all made of gold. An endless spring of mystical water feeds the river through, a, through the place. One sip of that stuff and you'll live forever. The trees are heavy, uh, heavy with plump fruit that cures all disease. The fields are crowded with pumpkins that never rot. Magic wildflowers bloom everywhere. And the weather. Oh, the weather, bud. Not too hot, not too cold. Not a chance, no chance of sweaty heat in this garden paradise. That is the Isle of the Goddess. Mm. Amazing, right? Wrong! It is beyond amazing! Mm. You want to hear more about it, do you? Don't you, bud? I feel like you're leaning towards, um, conspiracies. Yeah, sure. Good to hear, bud. I am completely obsessed with this place. I cannot get enough of it. Wish I had more to tell you now, but I need, will need to research these statutes to learn more. Next time I bump into you, I'll give you the latest info. Okay, but I'm just gonna stand right here. Whoa! Mm. 
What in the world just happened? Did you just use some kind of magic? That statue remo uh, reacted the moment you got near it, bud. How crazy is that? What if I told you I am from the from the Isle of the Goddess? What if I told you that? <laughs> Hold on, I need to save. Hold on, I must save my game. Goro! What was that? The statue just reacted to you. What did you do? Come on, do not make a big guy beg. I have to know. Buddy, but like I said, what if I told you I am from the sky? Do you say anything else? No, you just say I have to examine the statue. Oh, boy. <laughs> God. Master, now that you have access to stone statue, you can return to the sky at will. Furthermore, by using a certain amiibo figure, just pay $24.99, you can return to the sky from anywhere in the surface and come back to where you left. Please call me anytime you would like to use an amiibo. I would like to use an amiibo, but I currently don't have said amiibo because I am spending $24.99 for an amiibo for a very useful feature that is currently locked behind said amiibo that should have been in the game in the first place and I'm kind of bitter about it. You can also enable or disable Amiibo usage from the options. Fun fact! Amiibo support for this game is kind of shitty. <laughs> you can only use... The Skyward... The, the new Zelda and Loftwing Amiibo for this game. Also, you could easily travel from the land and the sky without the need of the stupid bird statues. I also none of the other amiibo currently in the Zelda line it will be compatible, so it's not even worth it. <laughs> Where's our sponsorship, Nintendo? Yeah, give me that, give me that sponsorship, so I don't have to spend twenty four ninety nine for an amiibo. That that's the dream. That's the dream I hope to accomplish one day. Oh God, what is this? Oh, this is a beacon. Well, I guess I don't need it. Boop. <laughs> Boop. There I go. Sorry, I have like a really big problem with like <laughs> the amiable support for this game. <laughs> it really doesn't justify paying 25 bucks. Plus shipping and handling. Buy it today. Do it. You won't. I need to drink some caffeine. Hold on. Oh yeah, animal species. Yeah, whatever. Well, then the Baron Woods. You are currently right here. Be whoop. Looking at the probabilities, it's extremely likely that Zelda is somewhere in this area. I recommend you continue to use your dowsing ability to search for her. Okay. We're gonna blaze through this area so fast. But first, save! Not that I need to, but I must save! Alright, off I go! How does swinging work? Same thing. Why do I ask? All right, cool. <laughs> That's how swinging works. I forgot. They explode. They explode. All right, cool. They stick to you, and they explode. Got it. I remember that. Quick, chop all the woods. Chop all the woods. Hi, how's it going? Damn it! <laughs> oh right, the fatal blow. I forgot that's unlocked. Alright, I did it! Hey, little bud, you okay? Huh? It's gone quiet. 
Kiku! Now there's a green one! I didn't even know they came in green! <laughs> Don't hurt me, Kawif! Okay, well, <laughs> gotta follow them. <laughs> That's what I must do, follow this strange creature, so th th hoping they might know where Zelda is. <laughs> Careful, buddy, your flower is showing. I mean, your bush. Whatever. I don't remember if you need to be like interact with the statues to serve as a landmark. I guess that's something I should figure out. <laughs> also, <laughs> I accidentally I was al I almost used my stupid thing. I don't know. We'll find out. <laughs> ah, I scared you. And off you go. Hi. Targeting. <laughs> Targeting, please. Give me this blob jelly. I need said blob jelly. Okay. Where are you? Where am I supposed to? Oh, you're over there. Oh, well, excuse me. Unnecessary flip! Alright, well, now where'd you go? Went over there. Oops, I meant to roll. Okay, that didn't work. Hi. It spotted me again! Hui! Huh? You don't want to eat me? Hui? You come to think of it. Why did you fight off all those red monsters? Yeah, I'm green like you. We, we buddies. Kwee believe! I'm Machi. I'm a Kikwi. You seem okay, even though you're scary. Thanks for helping me. That's weird, Kiku. A little while ago, I ran into another funny animal like you, but that one was a girl. Is it Zelda? What's a Zelda? I don't know who this girl was, Kukui, but she was in a bunch of trouble when I saw her. A pack of those mean red guys were after her, Kui, but she escaped with the Kikui Elder. <laughs> Master, we have obtained new information on Zelda's current status. This information indicates she was assailed by monsters, but somehow evaded capture. However, I infer that she is still in significant danger. Yeah, thanks for telling me. I have marked the position of the Kikui, known as Machi. Please confirm your little current... <laughs> Furthermore, my analysis suggests that this Kikui most likely produces a false positive dowsing reaction due to the previous effect, uh, previous direct contact with Zelda. Using this hypothesis, I theorize there is an 85% chance that the Kikui Elder will also generate a dowsing reaction with this, for that same reason. I propose you can continue to douse or search for Zelda, okay? <laughs> you really spooked me, Kui. You keep some- you keep some very strange company, friend. Yeah. Quee, Polly! Sounds like you're set on finding this friend of the any elder. If you're heading that way, Quee, would you mind telling our elder that I'm safe? Yeah. Cheer up, Koo Quee! I bet your friend is safe with our elder. You know who you remind me of? Larry. Therefore, your name is Larry. Anyways, I'm gonna make the shortcut. <laughs> you did it. <laughs> you found an amber. God, I forgot collectibles are in this game. God, I forgot you need to collect things. To even bother upgrading. Gosh. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> Larry and his leafy ass. Yeah. That's Larry. Hopefully I don't find Jerry. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm in trouble. All right, where where do I need to go? I guess I need to go up there. Map. 
Tell me where I am. Tell me where I should go. How do I zoom in? Clearly, I pressed the wrong button. Uh, there's a path there, but I need a bomb. There's a path up there, but there is currently a Deku Baba. Guess what I'm about to do? Yeet. Alright, you got another Amber Relic. Hey, that's nice. Roll! <laughs> Jerry is big leafy stick. Listen, we don't talk about Jerry. If we t once we start talking about Jerry, then we used to have a bad time. To get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. You don't think I know how I don't know how to shield bash? Don't you? Guess what? I know how to shield bash. I thought there would be something down here, but I was wrong. I was horribly, horribly wrong. Ooh, I hear a heart. Give me said heart. And let me make this shortcut. You did it! You don't make a shortcut. Okay, you should let me through. Okay, you let me through. Oh no, my shield has taken damage. Whatever shall I do? Oh man, I see a red rupee right there. Oh, that's that's gonna taunt me. I don't- I really don't need the dowsing. <laughs> Anything useful? Nothing useful? Okay. Okay, you're just there. Is this something I can sit on? That's a photo. <laughs> oh, right. Insects. Give me. You got a woodland rhino beetle. Sweet. Can I get more? <laughs> I collected another one or I squashed the other one. I can't tell. Perfect. Also perfect. I also slapped the other Joy-Con. <laughs> Excuse me. Link. Spud. Why didn't you grab the rope? <laughs> Don't tell me I have to do a rolling jump. Uh, you have to do a rolling jump. That's the only way you can get the cross and touch the rope. Yes. Hmm. Yes, that's all you gotta do. And swing. Quee. I'm Butcha, the Kiki Elder. I saw the way you spotted me through my indigenous ca my ingenious camouflage, Quee. You're clearly a master woodsman. You are very large. Where's Zelda? Zelda? Oh, the girl creature with the blonde hair. She looked like one of your kind. Yeah, she was with me, Quee. But now is not the time for such talk. The woods are full of monsters. I'm worried about my missing tribe. Whee, a shock and worry has made my memories of the girl quite hazy. Sure. What? You say you met some of my people, Quee? Hmm. Quee, so Larry is safe, eh? Ah, oh, but the monsters! They're still lurking in the forest. I don't dare leave this spot. Three Kikwees are still unaccounted for. Can I ask you to search for them and make sure they are safe, Kwee? I'm worried sick for my fellow Kikwees. If you could calm my fears, I might be able to remember more about where the girl you seek went off to, Kwee. Well, GG's. Zelda's not here. <laughs> well, I guess he's still useful with info. Taking into account, I calculated an 85% probability that your quest will be 80 if you find the lost Kikwees before the Elder. 
Why is everything like a 15% chance of failure? Next, been that your search for these four is dwelling teachers. I teachers, teachers. I have added key quiz as a dowsing option. Thank you. Just what I needed. No, I don't need help. <laughs> I can't believe Zelda's fucking dead. Rip. All right. Well, anyways, let's go find the key quiz. All right, I can't go that way. I don't have said item. Da da. Pick up this fruit. Pick up this fruit. Mash the A button. I will murder you. Oh, I did murder him. All oh, the little bug soul just came flying out. I just wanted to add you to my collection, but I guess I can't do it unless I have. Shit, 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 Eh. Eh. Okay, cool. I got it there. Not that I need it. But we're good. And now the switch is so I don't accidentally use it. Alright. Shit, 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 shit. Just use my fucking potion. Oh, God. Oh, God. I forgot the balancing. Oh, I forgot the balancing. Oh god! Oh no! How did I forget about this? Oh god! Hold, hold everything, hold everything straight up, and then you'll be fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I haven't lost my balance. Motion controls. We're fine. Not dead yet. That guy is, though. Oh, great. He brought friends. Alright, he's dead, Jim. Ow. <laughs> Thanks for the well timed uh, item pickup game. Now's not the time, though. Alright, we good. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> Kiwi! You fought off all those red guys? Does that mean you're a good guy? See, I've got this problem. My legs have turned to jelly and I can't get down. Think you can help me, Kiwi? Well, there's only one way I know I shall help you. <laughs> you did it, you solved a puzzle. Ouch! That was, uh, effective. Anyways, thanks to you, I'm saved, Kwee Palip. Really? The Elder was worried about me? Well, I'm glad to hear he's safe, Ki Woo Ki Koo. My name's Lopsa. If you see the elder, can you tell him where I am? Oh, Queen, my legs are still shaking. I'm gonna call you Carrie. So we found Larry, we found Carrie, and I think there's like, what, two more key queens to find? Yeah, we won't find them. Quick, swing, and then you win. And thus, you have created another shortcut. Alright, cool. Cool Leo. Can I reach that from there? No. Better be careful because you never know when someone will show up out of nowhere and steal your money. <laughs> He's dead. Hooray. Oh. Vantage point, finding Kikwis. Yeah, I was just interacting with a stupid thing. Oh, I might as well find out where they are. Hold on, I'm scratching my eye. That's why the camera is spinning. Alright, uh... There's one there. There's one there. Alright. 
Let's go. We got Kikwis to find. I can just climb up this, right? Yeah. Alright, cool, I did it. Let's see, where can I find a Kiwi? I wonder where I can find said Kiwi. Maybe if I cut all these bushes down, maybe I can find said Kiwi. <laughs> I was gonna say, buddy, you're kind of out in the open now. Well, I've been discovered. And here I thought I had a good hiding place, Quee. I'm Aria. You won't find another key queen in these woods that's half good as hiding as I am. Except the Elder, of course. Quee. Yeah. How did you find me? I was blending in perfectly with my environment, Quee. Yeah. You found them already? I don't know how you do it, but you should have a knack for spawning hidden things, Quee. Your name's Barry. You look like a berry. Alright. Off I go to fight some bacoblins! <laughs> As I drop from the sky! Son of a... Get stabbed. Oh right, I forgot about the stabbing motion. Which I can't do. Which I can't... Which I can't... Which I... Dead. 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 <sighs> Sword play. <laughs> Sword play. Just die already. Why is it so difficult? Anyways. Hi. I am looking for Kikwis. Have you seen that Kikwi? Well, that ain't fair. I can't cut. I can't cut through an Octorok's bush. All right, he's dead. All right, uh, where is this last Kikwi? I don't remember. Straight ahead. Got it. Ah, I took the shield bash. All right, uh, where is it? I think it's down a hole. I think I literally need to go down a hole. Hang ten, bud. Hi. You are not what I'm looking for. You're just a bush. <laughs> You're just a bush I can just casually pick up and put down. <laughs> Ow! Don't eat me! I taste terrible! Let me go, Queen! Huh? The Elder was worried about me. I'm glad to hear you safe, Quee. No. I'm Ulu. If you meet the Elder, tell him I'm here, Quee Pully. No. I don't know if it's safe yet. I'm gonna stay here for a while longer and wait for those monsters to go away. No. I'm not detecting any additional delting responses in the area. I suggest you go speak with the Kikwi Elder. No. What was that just now, Quee? Don't scare me like that! You know, you remind me of a Jerry. I shall call you Jerry. I will regret that, and... Yeah, I will regret that. Excuse me, comment through. <laughs> Excuse me, comment through. I, ha I have to come through this way just so I can speak to the Elder. This is such, this is the long way around. All right, I gotta run and roll jump. Hell yeah! What's up, Queen? So my all of my fellow key queens are well, and they want me to stop worrying. Oh, huh? Excellent. They know me too well. 
You have a real talent for finding whatever is missing, Kui. I don't know who you are or where you come from, but you have my thanks. <laughs> Kui! I feel much less worried now. I believe I just remembered where that young lady went. That young girl, Zelda, was that her name? Yes, it's all coming back to me. She said she had to travel to the temple deep within these woods, Kui. Oh, I tried to warn her about how dangerous it was there, but that clever little thing vaulted off my belly and ran off on her own just the same. I think she headed down that way towards the temple, Kui. Well, be sure to take great care if you follow her. That area is crawling with monsters. Oh, oh, I almost forgot, Kui. As a reward for fighting all my fellow Kikwis, I shall give you a precious Kikwi heirloom. Just let me fetch it for you right now, Kui. Pardon me a moment. Ah, don't belly flop in front of me! Buddy, why do you have a slingshot coming out of your, your bush butt? Oh, I have to climb you, huh? Come now, Queen. No need to be shy. Climb up to my back and claim your reward. You can't just, like, knock it off. Alright. I got the slingshot. Yay. Cool. I, I have things now. <laughs> That's an elevated anus. With that slingshot, Kui, you should be able to find a path into the deep woods where that temple is. Does art, why not try shooting that curled up vine over there? Hold, imagine the ZR button. To ready your slingshot, Kui. Then release said button to let the shot fly. We run out of ammunition, just grab some seeds from that fr from the fruit that grows on the trees over there. Now go find that girl. I'll be rooting for you, Kui. <laughs> Thanks, Kikui Elder. Nice to know you believe in me. You did it, you solved a puzzle. Now can you solve this puzzle? You did it! You solved that puzzle! Yes! I can't believe it! You are a pro! You didn't see that coming! Quick, someone, play last surprise. <laughs> Alright, uh... Let's do some exploring, because exploring is nice. Unlike that guy, he's dead. <laughs> Everyone do some exploring, except for that guy, he is currently dead. Congrats, you found five Deku Seeds. Do you need it? No. Man, we come so far in terms of trees because, man, those trees are flat. Oh, great. Balancing. Careful, Link. Don't fuck up. Whatever you do, don't fuck up. Okay, cool. Look, you got a heart. <laughs> Only three more to go. See, the problem when you introduce camera movement, you're... <laughs> the game doesn't know how to handle your motion. <laughs> That's the problem. See, that there is your problem with motion controls. You have no idea where the hell you're going. I'm like literally taking the long way around, aren't I? I feel like I am. But there's just so much to do. So much to explore. So much to do. Dun -dun 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 oh. Now you're dead. <laughs> Quick, run. Run past all the birds. And then you'll be fine. 
All right, cool. Let me just go up here and save real fast. Let's save real fast. Cool. I save. Oh, my eyes are bothering me again. No! Don't bother me, eyes. All right, well, let's keep going. Oh, God. Center. <laughs> Hold on, I have to recalibrate my arms. Alright, I'm done recalibrating my arms. <laughs> Link, you want to turn the other direction? Thanks. Wow. The deep woods. Amazing. <laughs> you have entered a new area. Update updating GPS guidance. All right, cool. Shut up. I'm calling for your backups. Somehow I did a shield bash. <laughs> I think that was a shield bash. Anyways, what I was about to do, or what I should have done. Quick, hide, run, 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 bees. They will murder you. Okay, they then. Hornet larvae, yay! Now me, I too can have honey. <laughs> Didn't see that coming. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> and off they go into the abyss. Everyone say bye to the bees. Bye, bees. <laughs> why is this? A, why is this a mechanic? Why is this a mechanic in my Zelda game? It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Link's fine. And then this guy is gonna show up out of nowhere and be all like, What's up? <laughs> I'ma stab you! Ooh, I hear money. Give me the money. Uh, what's over here? It's a shortcut. You did it. You found the shortcut. Okay, but how do I get up there? Cool. No, give me, give me the money. I remember this part now. <laughs> this guy's like, oh, I'm I'ma do this thing with you. Come on, fall. <laughs> fall, you fool. I'm running out of stamina. Camera! Camera, please! Alright, we're fine. You're fine. There's another bench. There's another thing. There's uh something just exploded on my leg. Cause it couldn't be added to Mario. Damn, Mario can't have motion controls. I I'm pretty sure I rolled, but okay. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I grabbed a thing and Okay, 
That okay, you got me, game. You got me. That's twice. All right, I got. <laughs> I got it for sure this time. I got a swing. There, I did it. Hooray. I see a chest. Give me this chest. Is it money? I bet you it's money. But don't spend it all in one place. I have yet to spend my money. Ack! Hi. You are the Quadro Baba. You can change your your freaking mouth position because you are weird and unique like that. Ow. Yes. Throw it to throw you throw your Joy-Con to do a fire flower. And then you shake to jump. There you go. That, that's all the motion you need in a Mario game. Now there's a face I know. Hey, bud. Okay, bye. <laughs> Hold up, bud. I need to ask you a favor. Okay, bye. <laughs> Fine. I tell you, your timing could not have been better. Look here. I stumbled onto one of the thing, those things that did that. It looks just like something I've seen in those ancient texts. If I remember right, yep, this is one of those things the goddess was said to have left behind for the hero of legend. Pretty amazing, right? I even thought of a name for these things. I have been calling them goddess cubes. Makes sense, right? Those ancient texts say some real interesting stuff about these things. How did it go again? Uh, let me see, uh... Summon forth the light from a heavenly blade, and then may that sword's master receive aid. So there you have it. I see you got yourself a sword there. Let's say you we try and crack the mystery of this cube together. Nah. <laughs> nah. Nah. Okay, fine. Hey, thanks a million, bud. This cube is made of some sort of metal I've never seen. I wailed on it, but nothing happens. No, bud. I would say the key of cracking this egg is that one line. You know, the light from a heavenly blade. How about that Monster Hunter Pokemon game? I haven't seen much about it. How is it? Is it good? Are you saying that's something up in my alley again? <laughs> Just like with Monster Hunter? Whoa! Did you see that? The cube just shot up into the sky. I think it reacted to that royally beam thing that shot out of your sword. Where do you think the cube shot off to anyhow? This mystery just got a whole lot more, uh, serious. The texts say there are cubes like that all, like that one all over this land. Tell you what, you blast as many of those cubes as you can find. If you find out more about them along the way, you come see me. Deal. It's better in the first game. Maybe I'll try to demo. I only I only say try and try to demo because Smash Brothers is doing another one of those. Hey, if you have save data of this game, we'll give you a spirit based off of the game. And it's gonna be uh, it's gonna bother me when I like, you know, go into Smash, get other other spirits, and be all like, you can't get this one yet because, you know. You can't, because you haven't played the demo. Then I'm gonna have to wait for a stupid long time for them, that, for them to finally add those spirits. Alrighty. Um, this is a puzzle within itself. No, the, the spirit is, um, I don't even know who the hell you, I'm ta you're talking about. But the spirit is actually um, the the main character in the the, the what was it Ray's Ray's wing Ratha? Is that what that monster is? The main monster, the the plot monster. All right, it's the first time I've been back in the sky. Oh yeah, yeah. That's the spirit that is currently given away when you play the demo. 
Just let me boop that. I only have enough for one. Okay, we're gonna we're just gonna grab the items and then we're just gonna end the game. I only say this because it's like midnight. I even though I started late and we're about to go into a dungeon, so I'd rather prepare in quotes. I'm gonna assume that person's like the asshole of the series. <laughs> is that is that what is that the gist? Is that what I'm getting at? Oh god, how do you zoom down? Okay, I was gonna say, how do you look down again? Oh, Link didn't even splat. That's disappointing. Oh, this isn't even the chest I need. Oh, what was... It was here, right? Oh, it was literally right here. Oops. <laughs> I'll find out. Okay, fine. Hey, you made your adventure pouch bigger! Now you can fit five items! Wow! Wow, we. Okay, I'll be back to deal with this place in the future. Alright. Uh, get that out of here. Put that on here. <laughs> yep. I keep moving the stick thinking I can control this stupid bird with the stick, but I know I was going to be disappointed. <laughs> oh no, random tornadoes. Oh no, sky octorocks. Who would have thought they would be here? And splat. Fine. Oh, that was a piece of heart. Cool. You did it. You found a piece of heart. All right. Now, now that's all settled and done, and oh god, <laughs> motion. Cool. And now we dive. Yeah, I know. You can do this from wherever. Just point at the stupid thing. Again, it's automatic. Why does it matter? All right, that's gonna be it for the stream. I am taking off these Joy Cons from my wrist, and Link is having a spasm. <laughs> All right, so we got we gotta talk about stream and scheduling because, in case you haven't noticed, it's Friday. <laughs> I don't normally stream Fridays or Saturdays, for that matter. Um. TLDR, my work schedule changed, so I actually got this weekend off, so if I feel like it, there will be a stream tomorrow. And depending on how things go, I'll probably do a stream on the regular days, like Tuesday and Wednesday, I think. I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see for now. But... For now, that's it. Stream possibly tomorrow. Hey, maybe. I don't know. It's a flip of a coin, really. Uh, but yeah. Thanks for stopping by and watching. And uh, I'll see you guys uh, later.
How do I end the stream again?